Let's talk about PC requirements. Uh, you know, you're probably interested in what you might need to invest in order to do this. Um, uh, so let's talk about what you're going to need from a hardware perspective. Um, you're going to need a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 PC with a dedicated GPU. In general, if you have a computer that is able to run and you're playing GS Pro on, that should work fine. Um, however, if you if you're underpowered in GS Pro, let's say you're running in the light version or the very light graphics and you're barely getting by, you might struggle. Okay. Um, what we mean by that is, is, is ultimately you need a gamer PC, which has a dedicated graphics processor. Um, 16 gig of RAM should work fine, um, but 32 would be my recommendation if you can, but you can get away with 16. There are a couple programs like Cloud Compare um, with people with eight gig of RAM, they definitely run into some problems. 16, you can work around it, um, but Cloud Compare, I'll talk about that in the next video, is is very RAM intensive. It also requires a little bit of GPU horsepower, and also RAM is intensive. Um, you don't really need a great processor, so like an i5 processor will work fine. Just some things will run a little slower, but um, I don't think that's a bottleneck in anything we really do. Just um, some of the scripts and you know, we run some stuff through the scripts in Blender might take a little bit longer with the slower processor. Not a big deal. Um, as far as the GPU goes, like I said, you need a gamer PC, but I would recommend a 1650 Ti GPU or higher. What's interesting is I actually recommend um, having the minimum spec uh, GPU, like a 1070 or 2060, because then you can see how the game is going to perform on for users, for players that have a minimum spec PC. So for me, that comes in really handy because now you can load your game up on that min spec and just make sure it's working and it's gonna work for almost everybody playing the game because you're running it on the minimum specs, right? Um, that That's kind of a, a, a nice thing. So if you have like a 1070 or a 2060, that's a perfect GPU in my opinion. You're gonna need a mouse wheel, um, a mouse with a scroll wheel and a center button. So some of the things when we navigate in through some of these software, they use the center button and the scroll wheel. And without those, eh, you have to use some keyboard shortcuts and it gets a little tedious. You want, uh, if possible, a full keyboard. And what I mean by full keyboard is something with a number pad. So on the right side of your keyboard, you might see, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, some plus and minus, uh, a period over there. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts that use those. And if you don't have it, things can get kind of difficult as well. You can add one. Um, you can certainly add a, a whole keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, or even a, a numpad if you want to add, add that. Um, you're going to want at least 500 gig of free hard drive space, not a 500 gig hard drive, a free hard drive space. And I would recommend if possible to have a second hard drive um, in your computer. A lot of laptops, gaming laptops come with second hard drives in them. The reason for that is your primary hard drive is used for actually paging. So when you're short on RAM, it pages out to the hard drive. It's nice to have your course files on a hard drive that's not being paged. So that's why the second SSD drive is recommended. But um, you can get away without it. Things will just run a little bit slower. Um, so that's it for the PC specs. Hopefully you've got something already that, that can do this. So best of luck with that. On to the next video.